Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Ed with the Reef Corner. I am putting up a video of a Bahrain Tang, five and three quarter inches out of Sumatra. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Five and three quarter inches. This thing has actually been sitting at the wholesalers probably, I'm guessing, and it's a good guess, at a minimum four weeks. They kind of had in a tank all the way in the back. Lost. I mean, this thing is a, is a gorgeous fish. Eats like crazy. It's been a while since I brought, brought in a brain tank. So I said, let me get it. Why it didn't sell, I have no clue. Woo! Holy Jesus, it's going to get loose on me. Easy, easy, brother, easy. This thing's a stud. And you're gonna freaking give yourself some marks from going ballistic in my bin. Look at that. Sweet! Settle down, please. You already scraped your nose. That thing is gorgeous. We're gonna set him loose because he's just gonna get annoyed in there. Give him. I felt somebody tapping on the on the pin. I felt like tap tap tap. A little scribble biting the styrofoam. All right, we're gonna we're gonna let you out of here soon because you're not a happy camper. And like um, like orange shoulders, fowler eye, the Bahrain. I don't like handling them with the net because they easily get those funky looking bruise marks. They go away in a day or two. But people see it and they think, oh, there's something wrong with that fish. No. They just get those easily. So there you have it. Five and three quarter inches, eating like a monster. Bahrain Tang, Sumatra. That and the fowler eye, I love those too. And I always tell people, I had someone call me yesterday, and I tell them, dude, yeah, you really have to do a fair apples for apples comparison. Can can this fish and the fowler eye come from different locations? Absolutely. Do they look as good as the ones that come out of Sumatra? Not really. And if you've seen my videos, compare them to, to fowler eyes and brains from other locations, you're gonna see the difference. So why bring them in from those locations? Simple, because they are cheaper. So profit-wise, they make more money selling those. I'd rather sell the nicer ones. There's a huge difference. Can you get a gorgeous one coming out of those locations? Yeah, maybe two out of every hundred, three or four. So that's enough. No more complaining for me. He is loose. Woo. He is loose and in the mix. What happened to my flash? So there you go. I'm going to have to probably take a tang or two out because they're not going to like them in the beginning. Just to give them a chance to acclimate and then put them back in. The sale of this fish does come with the Spectrum pellets I offer for free, the 250 gram size container, and that's just a tiny way of saying, there goes my flash again, that's really starting to bug me. Damn. I'm going to apologize. Long story short, I had Samsung, stop it, fix the port on the phone. And then my flash went to crap. Coincidence? I don't think so. Alright, let me um, stop it. I'm gonna have to put that guy in the bin, switch places, and give my Bahrain a tank to a chance to acclimate. Thank you, folks. Uh, as I was saying, the uh, sale of this fish does come with the Spectrum pellets I offer for free. 
250 gram size container and that's just a tiny way of saying thank you very much for your purchase i do appreciate it